lights on. I can see in the front, the red lights on. All right. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a class on V carving, which happens to go with the CNC machine we have on the, over there. Does anybody have any idea what V carving is and what it means? You cut a V in the wood. Very, very, very good. Okay. What V carving is? You're using V type bits, whether it's a 45 degree bit, I don't draw very good, or a 60 degree bit, it may be a 30 degree bit. Alright? That's, that's the bits that you would use normally for V carving. The way V carving works, I'm going to explain this to you. This is my board, alright? This is looking on the end of the board. Look, you're looking into the end of the board here, alright? If I have a couple of lines up here, say so here's a line I want to go, I want to cut between these two lines. The way V carving works is this bit will come down, down in here and carve this. It can't go any wider than this, so I can make a little pass this deep. The next pass would come in deeper, but I can only get to the outside of those two lines. And that's how the depth is controlled by. You can't get any deeper than that. Say I was using a 90 degree bit. And that's 90 degrees to this part. This would be a 60, this would say be a 30 degree bit. To get deeper in that same cut, I could change to a 60 degree bit. Why would the other ones go deeper? All right. Because 90 degrees is going to be set off at this, this angle. Oh, it'll be too fat. It'll be too fat. I can only go in there so deep. So if I change to a 60 degree, the tip can get further in there before the sides would connect to the two lines. The same way with a 30 degree. What's the smallest V you can get? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Some of these things we've done, and if you want to zoom in on this thing here, so we can see what it looks like. This was that deer. And, uh, I don't know if you, some of you around here watching this thing. It ran for almost 45 minutes before I finally stopped this thing. It didn't get very deep because it goes around it. You don't want to try and get it it's so deep in, in one cut that you actually tear it up. So it goes around and makes a whole bunch of the things. This one here was designed just from a picture came off the internet. Damn. But you can take a picture, any picture, in this program that we've got on here. This is what I've got set up on here right now, if you want to take a look at this. But if you look at this thing here, it's a lot easier to see this than it is on here. All of the different spots where the, the, v, the bit can go between. You have to have two lines in order for it to go between them. And they actually all have to be a closed loop. In other words, the line has to go in and close out the whole thing. You could do the photograph, but it's got to be a drawing. No, this this was a photograph. That well, was how can you have two lines on that? You just have an outside. The, the program that I've got right here will take a photograph, and it'll actually take the photograph and make it so you can use it with this with that machine. That is cool. The computer does all the work. You don't have to do the work. Uh, this was another one. It just says bull's head on it, on the side of the thing. Man, how do you design it? All right. This little machine over here in the program will do it all. You notice how this is a lot deeper here than it is over here? That's because there's a wider space here for the bit to fit into. Really wide between here and here. That means the, the bit can actually go in there deeper. Everybody understand what, what's going on here now? You where, you, where you only have small spots, like here, I'm just barely getting in there, maybe a, a 64th deep, because the lines are so close together. You can't, you can't actually make it deep. Well, I take that back. I've already found out how you cheat the software. <laughs> because when I first did this one, it didn't get hardly deep at all. See how, how this one didn't get near as deep over in this stuff? 
as it did when I got over to this side over here. And that's all from the same bit, one bit? All from exactly the same bit. I just cheated the software. Well, how could you make that big block where that B is? With the, you said you got to change the bits to get to get wider. All right. That's what I'm saying. I learned how to cheat the software. I'll be damned. All right. Because what I did, when you first set this thing up, you tell it you're cutting off the surface of the board, which is your zero, zero, zero spot. And what you have is X, Y, and Z processes. X, let me draw this out here so you understand. This is going to be the face of a board. This is the front, this is the rear, this is the right, this is the left. Up here in space someplace is Z. Z goes up and down this okay. way. X goes this direction. This is the X axis. Goes this way. Y goes this direction. Now Z comes up and down onto it. So it's actually three three dimensional. By what I did in order to get this deeper, when you first set up to normally do this, you work off the surface of the board. You tell the machine. So I've got a dot right here. I'll just make this a little deeper so you can see it. That's, that would be my zero spot where I reference the machine to when I first start off. I tell my machine this is, this is my zero axis from going left and right, which is my x axis. I also tell this this is my zero for my y going back and forth. And I tell it that's my zero for my x, I mean my z coming up and down. All right. In order to get this to cut deeper, you know what I did? Once I had have this, have this zero marked out for all of them, I told the machine that I was two one hundredths above the board. <coughs> yeah. So instead of the machine cutting, starting off at, at zero and cutting down a thirty second or whatever went into here, it had to cut two two hundredths deeper to get down to where zero, where the top zero was at. Does that make sense to you? Making mm -hmm. understand what I did? I told the machine. So you like you shimmed it up, and then there was like they thought it was thicker than what it was. Well, how could it be zero and then go back to the zero if you if you trick it like that? Because when you when you're running this thing, when the zero what it does, it comes up, it picks up the bit. You have a, a height that you run this thing at so it can free run across thing without dragging it across it. Okay. It raises up to a certain height, goes to a certain spot, then plunges back in to make the cut. But it thought it was coming down this deep where eventually where it was it was actually going that deep because I tricked it. Okay. And it still remembers that zero zero spot though? Yeah. Because I can Press on that thing there, I can tell that machine, go back to zero, zero, zero. It'll raise up from wherever it's at, come back over here and go back and line itself up where I told it the zero, zero, zero was originally at. Alright? Okay, that's, that's V carving. That machine out there also lets you do pocket carving. Where I can make, to have it using a straight, just a plain old straight bit and have this make pockets. And that's how you do a lot of other signs also. Uh, I don't have any. I don't have any made up yet. But it'll also allow you to take 